Ever since I filmed if you guys follow me on Instagram or you saw a couple of my last videos you would know that I started a teaching credential program here in California you have to get a bachelor's degree and then you have to go get credentialed which takes about a year to two years depending on you know if you're going full-time or part-time so I've been going through the full-time program so I'll be done in May of 2015 but it has pretty much taken over my life taken over my life. Let me tell you. Now I'm just doing my clinical practice which is just in the classroom. So now I do have a little bit more time like when I come home after school to film some videos which makes me very happy. If you are a new subscriber then welcome to my channel. So excited to have you. And to all of you who have been subscribed to me for a while, I am sorry that I have been so MIA. I've just been super super busy with the school thing, so I'm sure you can understand. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and get started with the October favorite. The first one is two foundations that I've been mixing together, and I only did this because I love this foundation, but it was just too light for me, even though I look like ghostly pale right now. Believe it or not, this was too light. I'm still kind of working on the lighting because I haven't done this for a long time, so I kind of forget like what works and what doesn't. Anywho, so this was too light for me, so I decided to mix it in with my Estee Lauder Double Wear. This is the Lingerie de Peau foundation, and this looks amazing on the skin. It just doesn't have quite the long wearing abilities that this one does, but when you mix them together, it's like you get the best of both worlds. This one like helps it last a long time, and then this one just helps your skin just look amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I love these two together. This is in 3W1, and then this one is in, I think, oh, no. 03. So yeah, 03 is the color. And I think the next time I buy this, I would buy 04. But I really love this combination. It is what I'm wearing on my skin right now. I forget how hot it gets in here when you film. Holy hell. Okay, so next thing is another thing for the skin. And I know that I've talked about this a million times, but I've been wearing it every single day and I just can't stop. So I figured I needed to throw it in here. It is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. It has dim light, incandescent light, and radiant light, and I've been going haywire with the dim light and the incandescent light. This one is more of an actual highlight, and it is what I'm wearing on my cheekbones right now. Don't know if you can see that, but I am wearing this, and then I'm wearing dim light, kind of like in my T-zone area. It just really blurs imperfections. I absolutely love that. Cannot get enough of it. It was limited edition, but now they have it back in stock at Sephora, so if you want to get your hands on it, go get it. So, I kind of, for a while, heard a lot of people talk about this, but then it just kind of went away, so I was like, oh, I wonder if it was really, like, all that great. I tried it anyways on my own, and I really, really like it. It's the Bare, Mineral, Bare Minerals Prime Time, and it's the neutralizing one, so it's yellow. So, I will show you. That's what it looks like. So if you have any redness on your face, which I do, uh, mainly on my cheeks, when you rub this in, it's a primer, but then it also acts as a neutralizer. So it will kind of like neutralize any redness that you have on your face. But you see when you rub it in, you really don't see anything. Um, it does provide a really smooth canvas for your foundation to go on top of, and I really, really like it. Um, I'm a huge believer in primers, so when I find one that I really like, I'm just like, oh. Now this I haven't really had for that long of a time, to be perfectly honest. I haven't had it for all of October, but as soon as I tried it, I was like, yes, 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 yes. I love it. It's the lip color that I'm wearing right now, and it may look a little bit darker than what it actually would normally because I used um, Max Lip Pencil in Vino. Uh, to line the outside and then kind of fill it in just a little bit on the edges. But this is the NARS Audacious Lipstick in Charlotte. So you can see that it is pretty dark, but it's like a dark burgundy red. And these lipsticks, I swear, like, they're just... The hype is real. Sometimes when people talk about products, like, over and over and over again, and they're in every single video of people's, like, favorites, I'm like... Hmm, and I really hold off on things like that, but, and I actually did hold off on buying a couple of these for a really long time, but then once I bought them, I was like, yes, like, 
they deserve all the recognition that they're getting. They're very creamy, they're very pigmented, and surprisingly enough, even though they're not matte, they last a really long time on the lips. Um, at school, I do not have any time to be reapplying lipstick or anything like that. I don't even like blot. <laughs> I know, my life has seriously changed over the last few months, but um, I still feel like even if the color is gone, the good like smooth feeling, like it's almost got like a balmy texture to it, lasts throughout the day. So. I really like that one. I have that, Janet, and Raquel, and I want more. Another thing that I have been loving is this lip liner, and this is the MAC Pro Longwear Lip Pencil in Staunch, Staunchly Stylish. Staunchly. I've never heard that word before, but apparently it is a word according to the life of MAC, so I really need to sharpen it, but this is just like a perfect kind of like I don't know nudie like almost like a spicier nude lip liner and this is it right here and I wear this like almost every single day with any kind of nude or nudie pink lipstick over the top of it it's just really really pretty and it's it makes a nice like outline to your lips, but it's not obvious. It's not obvious that you're wearing lip liner, which is something that I really like because something that I noticed like on the first day of my classes. So if you guys don't aren't familiar with the program that I'm in, I am actually teaching in a classroom every day. So I'm on like my classes are on an elementary school campus. So I go to class all day with the students and you know, I'll teach lessons or I'll help with groups and that sort of thing so that way I get the experience. But what I notice is that no one really like wears makeup. I mean, de I definitely would not be able to wear this at school. I mean, I could, but I would probably be getting some looks. So I've been sticking to really like neutral, plain Jane makeup, which on occasion has been killing me. Like I really wanna wear this more often or like some more out there lip colors and things like that, but I just can't, at least Monday through Friday. But this is something that I can wear every single day and it looks very, very natural, but still gives good definition to the lips. So yes, this has been like my one product where I'm like, at least I feel like I'm wearing makeup. Okay, and then just a few more things. Like I said, I've been keeping everything pretty neutral for school, so I don't have a lot of products that are like, whoa, out there, but I do have a couple blushes that I've really been loving. The first one is from Lorac. It's one of their baked blushes, and this is in the color Velvet Rope. I think that this is like the perfect fall blush color because it's kind of like, it looks very much like Nars Sin, where it's like that plummy blush color. Um, am I wearing this one? Yes, I am wearing this one on my cheeks right now. And this one in particular gives a really nice sheen. So it's going to give you like a nice glow as well. So you can even see it's kind of catching the light right now. It's just really, really pretty. And again, it, you're giving your cheeks color without it being over the top or anything like that. I know I've talked about this before either in a haul or maybe a favorites video, I'm not sure, but this is Becca blush in Damselfly. And this one's definitely more warm, but it's kind of like a more warm pink, and it's this right here. I hope you can see that. And these Becca blushes are super, super pigmented, so you almost have to be like really careful when you're applying it. I would use something more like a stippling brush, something like this from MAC. I like this one because it's a little bit smaller, so you're not gonna get blush like all over the place. This is the MAC 188. And because of the stippling, like there's only these bristles, bristles on the end, it's not gonna pick quite as much product and then I will still tap it off and then buff it onto the cheek. So really like those Becca blushes, but you just have to be pretty careful with them. Two more things. So one thing that I know that I've talked about a long, long time ago is this YSL Baby Doll Mascara. So let's see. In the past, I like in the recent past, I had tried the, gone back to the, uh, CoverGirl Lash Blast, and I went through the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, and one more, but I can't remember what it was, 
And then I kind of just bought this on a whim and I was like, oh my gosh, like why did I ever stop using you? This stuff is just so amazing. I am wearing it right now, although I don't know if you'll be able to tell. I'm not wearing false lashes though, that's for sure. Uh, this just gives volume and it really does give like that doll-like effect where it makes all of your lashes kind of separate but gives a lot of good definition and volume without looking clumpy. So it separates them really nicely and makes your eyes just look wide awake. And I'm sure you've seen it in the past, but it does have a brush with really, really small bristles on it. And I think it does a really good job of like coating every single lash and like kind of sticking to every single lash. Love this, cannot say enough. Like when I, when we have the Sephora, um, what is it, the like, beauty VIB sale or whatever that usually comes out around like November. I'm definitely gonna pick up a couple more of these cause they're just, it's just amazing. Amazing. And the last thing that I think I'm gonna talk about so that I don't, you know, totally talk your ear off is this product right here. Now, before you X out, um, I know that there's a lot of, people either love this or hate it. And I had used it once a long, long time ago. It was one of those things where I had no shampoo or conditioner and I was desperate and my mom used this. So I borrowed some from her and I was like, oh gosh, I hated it. I hated it because I wasn't using it right. And I found that a lot of people who don't like it aren't using it correctly and not to be offensive to anybody who's, who's tried this and doesn't like it, but I would give it another try and just make sure you're really reading the directions to see if you get a different opinion of it. So um, it's just so important to use it the way that it says on the bottle. So what I do is I, like it says on here, 24 to 32 pumps for long hair. I mean, according to most people, I have pretty long hair, but I still didn't use that many. Otherwise, I think I would have gone through this bottle in a week, but I did use probably like 12, 12 pumps, whoop, 12 pumps, put it in the palm of my hand and then like really head massage my scalp, like get back in here in the crown, like right under here and on the scalp, obviously, just like you would a regular shampoo. And then you have to get your head wet. So it kind of gives it some more give if that makes sense. And then it will kind of evenly disperse like throughout your hair. So then you leave that in for the rest of the shower. Then you can like go about shaving, washing your body, whatever it is that you're gonna do. Then you rinse it out and it recommends that you do it again. So just like all shampoos do. So I did, I did it again with the same amount of product. Just kind of like really worked it into my roots. Like I can't stress that enough. This isn't a product where you can just go like this and be done. You really have to like, rub it into your head or else you're not really going to get your your hair clean. Um, if I didn't mention it, this is the Wen Sweet Almond Mint Cleansing Conditioner. So it's basically a shampoo and conditioner in one. And when I think that, usually I'm like, huh, like no way, because you think of like head and shoulders, those sorts of like per plus, like two in one, and it just dries the heck out of your hair and it's just not good. But this is different because it's a cleansing conditioner. So it's not going to feel like a shampoo. It's not going to suds up. It's really going to feel like you're just washing your hair with conditioner because it has that kind of silky um, consistency like a creamy consistency. So then after I do it again, like work it through my hair, I'll rinse it out and then I'll take just like one pump. That's all you need is one pump and I have pretty long hair. I'll run it through my hands and then I'll just put it like from here down and leave it in. Don't wash it out or anything like that. Then when you get out of the shower, you can kind of comb your hair out and I swear my hair felt so like light and bouncy. It didn't feel weighed down at all. And I felt like I could go longer without washing my hair, which has been super important when I've literally just been going to school and doing homework, going to school and doing homework. So I really, really like this. I did feel about, probably about after five washes that I had like some buildup in my hair. So then I just used like a regular clarifying shampoo and conditioner, blow dry, went around about my normal routine. And then the next time I needed to wash my hair, I went through this. So I do this for every like five washes and then I'll do a clarifying shampoo just to make sure that I'm really washing my hair and then go back to this again. So I really, really like it. It makes me feel better about not shampooing my hair because that's really like one thing that's going to, you know, dry out your hair, especially in the winter months. So I like it. Let me know what you guys think if you either like loved it or hate it, but I've really been liking it. You can always get a sample because they do sell that at Sephora. 
I just got the smaller bottle to kind of like test it out first, but I actually like the lavender one better. That's the one that my mom had. Lavender instead of sweet almond mint, but that's just my personal preference. Okay, so whew, I might have been a little rusty because I haven't done this in a really, really long time, but I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found some new products that maybe you can test out or add to your VIB Sephora list or virtual cart. My sister and I call those like, you know, when you go shopping and then you just, or online shopping, you just add a bunch of stuff to your cart. We call it like our fantasy cart. I have a big fantasy cart on Sephora right now. So hopefully you guys can add some stuff to your fantasy carts and I've missed you and I hope you guys are doing awesome and I will see you guys next time. Bye.